If day one started with a bang, day two of book one reached unimaginable heights as a new world record for a filly was set and a new European record recorded when the hammer came down at an incredible five million guineas for lot 253. Anticipation on the sales ground was high as the daughter of Galileo from the Lodge Park stud draft was led into the ring. Mr. Arachi hastily opened the bidding at 500,000 guineas before Charlie Gordon Watson and John Magnier took over to the 2 million guineas mark. The Mandori agency stepped in and after a heated bidding duel with the Coolmore team, secured the stunning sister to Oaks winner was for a new world record price. Thank you all very much indeed. Five million buys. Bought on behalf of Sheikh Joan's Al Shakab Racing, Mandori's Nicolas de Watragon explained why they were willing to go all the way to secure her. Best yearning I've seen so far since I started working uh, as an agent. Really, really special filly. We bought the sister last year and she's quite, you know, showing a lot of potential already in training. We really believe in her, so Sheikh Joan uh, really wants to, to buy the filly today. I think Sheikh Joan likes to, to have her in training uh, with Mr. Fraud, that's what he just say. Tattersall's marketing director, Jimmy George, admitted the sale exceeded even his expectations. Five million guineas, absolutely astounding, really, uh, but she was truly beautiful. So she's set a world record for a yearling filly, comfortably beating the previous high point, and she's the highest priced thoroughbred ever to sell at public auction in Europe. So she's really very special in a, in a number of different ways. It was a real story of superlatives, and it's just an absolute delight to see all of the connections rewarded, the Burns family, and to see Sheikh Joanne go off with such a prize, it's, it's magnificent. Very, very sharp, always a dream coat. The sales top lot so far was not the only yearling to break the million guinea mark on day two. Lot 180, an Oasis Dream Colt from the Cordoff Stud Draft, sold to Sheikh Hamdan Shadwell Estate for 1.1 million guineas. Having owned the full brother and July stakes winner Arcano, Sheikh Hamdan knows the family well and would not be denied. At a million one, all done last time. Shadwell Estate, thank you very much indeed. John Ferguson, acting for Sheikh Mohammed, continued to be active on day two, going to 650,000 guineas for lot 302, a son of Oasis Dream from Baronstown Stud. Here's a cracking Oasis Dream now. Lot 262, another Oasis Dream cult, also caught his eye earlier in the day, eventually being knocked down to Sheikh Mohammed Bloodstock Advisor for 625,000 guineas. Last call order at 625. John Magnier may have missed out on the day's top lot, but he later picked up his first colt by Exceed and Excel, going to 600,000 for the Glenvale stud consigned brother to Clamour. South African-based agents Form Bloodstock also made a splash on the day, giving 600,000 for lot 301, another daughter by the all-conquering Galileo. Form Bloodstock, 600,000, thank you, sir. International buyers' enthusiasm for top quality bloodstock continued into day two, but the headline which will undoubtedly secure its place in history was the record-breaking five million guinea daughter of Galileo. Thank you all very much indeed. Five million buys.